Hi, I'm Amelia. Before we dive into my story, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. Let me take you through a roller coaster that was my life not too long ago. It was just another Tuesday in the city. I'd spent the last five years at Jensen and Hart, clawing my way up from an intern to a project manager. That day, I walked into the office with my usual coffee in hand, unaware that my world was about to turn upside down. In the meeting room, my boss, Mr. Thompson, sat with a somber look, accompanied by Miss Harper from HR. The atmosphere was tense. Mr. Thompson cleared his throat. Amelia, we have to let you go. The company's downsizing. I felt a cold shock. But my projects have been successful. I've worked overtime, weekends, Miss Harper interjected. It's a company-wide policy, Amelia. We have to make tough decisions. I knew there was more to it. Just last week, I'd caught my colleague, Rick, presenting my project as his own to a client. What about Rick? He took credit for my work, I exclaimed. Mr. Thompson shifted uncomfortably. That's a serious accusation, Amelia. Yeah, with no proof, Rick said, smirking as he leaned against the doorway. I left the office in a daze, my belongings in a cardboard box. The day got worse when I reached my apartment. My stuff was out on the sidewalk, and the landlord, Mr. Davis, was there, arms crossed. I need tenants who can pay on time, Amelia. I can't have uncertainties. But I've never missed a rent payment, I protested. Sorry, Amelia. Decision's final. I was homeless and jobless in a single day. My phone buzzed. It was Sarah, my college friend, and probably the only person I could count on. Amelia, heard what happened. You can stay with me as long as you need. Thanks, Sarah. I... I don't know what to say. Just come over. We'll figure this out. Sitting in Sarah's living room that night, surrounded by my few possessions, I felt a burning anger and a determination to set things right. I knew it wasn't going to be easy, but I was ready for whatever it took. This was just the beginning. That's chapter one of my journey. Stick around for the next part, where things start to get even more interesting. Remember to like and subscribe for more. See you in the next chapter. Can't believe Jensen and Hart let go of their best. Sarah's voice was a mix of anger and sympathy as she handed me a mug of coffee. I took a deep breath, looking at the small apartment I now called home. Thanks, Sarah. It's just... It feels like a bad dream. More like a nightmare, especially with Rick taking all the credit. Sarah always had a way of getting straight to the point. Sitting at her dining table, I replayed the last few months at work in my mind. He was always there, hovering, taking notes... A real snake in the grass, Sarah commented, sitting across from me. I nodded. The more I thought about it, the more the pieces fit. He knew exactly when to swoop in. All those late nights I thought I was alone. So, what's your plan? Sarah asked, her tone shifting to something more serious. I looked up, meeting her eyes. I need to learn. Skills, strategies. Anything that can help me outsmart someone like Rick. Revenge? Sarah raised an eyebrow. Justice, I corrected her. He can't just get away with this. The next few days were a blur of activity. I started researching, learning about legalities, corporate espionage, and even a bit of hacking. Sarah's old college friend, Max, who worked in cybersecurity, agreed to teach me a few tricks. You sure you want to go down this road? Max asked one evening, as we sat with our laptops open. I've never been sure of anything, I replied, my fingers flying over the keyboard. One afternoon, we decided to take a break and hit a local cafe. It was busy, with the usual city buzz. As I stood in line for coffee, I overheard a conversation from the table behind me. It was Rick, bragging on the phone. Yeah, can you believe it? Amelia had no clue. I took all her work, presented it as mine. Got a nice bonus, too. His laughter was like a knife. My blood boiled, but I kept my cool. I needed to be smart about this. Returning to the table, I relayed what I'd heard to Max and Sarah. He's not even trying to hide it. He's proud. That's your proof right there, Max said. But what are you going to do with it? I thought for a moment. Expose him. But it has to be bulletproof. No coming back at me. The plan started to take shape. We worked late into the nights, piecing together evidence, setting up anonymous email accounts, and plotting each move with precision. You know, this could backfire. Sarah warned one evening, her eyes heavy with concern. I know, I admitted, but I can't let him destroy anyone else's career like he did mine. 
Days turned into weeks. My skills grew, and so did my confidence. Rick had no idea what was coming. The anticipation was both terrifying and exhilarating. You ready for this? Max asked me one night, as we sat finalizing the last details of our plan. I nodded, a determined look on my face. More than ready, it's time Rick learned a lesson. And with that, we set the wheels in motion. So, you're really going through with this? Sarah asked, eyeing the papers strewn across her living room floor. Absolutely. Rick's going down. My voice was firm. My resolve unshakable. As I sifted through the documents, Sarah watched, a mix of admiration and concern in her eyes. You know, this is pretty intense. You've got everything on him. Emails, project files, even that presentation he stole from you. Yeah, and that's just the start. Jensen and Hart's new project. I found a way in. A weak spot. Sarah leaned in. You're going to sabotage it? Not destroy, just nudge it off course. A smirk played on my lips. Meanwhile, I had started my own gig, a consulting firm, right from Sarah's spare room. It wasn't much, but it was a start. You've got clients already? Max looked impressed as he scrolled through my website. Small ones, but it's a start, and it's all mine. Pride swelled in my chest. Hey, that's your leverage. Independence, Amelia. Weeks flew by as I juggled building my business and plotting against Rick and Jensen and Hart. It was exhausting, but exhilarating. One evening, Sarah, Max, and I huddled around my laptop. It's time, I declared. We launch the first phase tomorrow. You sure you're ready? Max looked at me, concern etched in his features. Never been more ready in my life. Rick's reign at Jensen and Hart ends now. The next morning, I watched from a cafe across from Jensen and Hart as employees streamed in. I sipped my coffee, a plan in motion. Phase one. I whispered to myself, hitting send on an anonymous email to Mr. Thompson, Jensen, and Hart's CEO. It contained irrefutable proof of Rick's plagiarism and manipulation. Back at Sarah's apartment, my phone buzzed. An email from a former colleague at Jensen and Hart. The subject line read, Rick's been fired. I couldn't help but smile. Step one, complete. What's next? Sarah asked as she read over my shoulder. The project. It's time to shake things up at Jensen and Hart. My fingers danced over the keyboard as I initiated the next phase of my plan. Days later, news broke about troubles in Jensen and Hart's new project delays, budget issues, and client dissatisfaction. It was all subtle, nothing too drastic, but enough to cause ripples. You see this? Max pointed at an online article on his phone. The project's tanking. They can't figure out what's wrong. Just as planned, I replied, a sense of satisfaction washing over me. Amidst this, my own business began to pick up. I landed a couple of big clients, my reputation in the industry growing. Look at you, Amelia, from rock bottom to rising star. Sarah beamed with pride. Couldn't have done it without you two, I said, feeling a rare moment of warmth and gratitude. But my satisfaction was short-lived. I knew the final phase of my plan was still to come. It would be the most risky, but I was ready. Rick and Jensen and Hart had to learn that their actions had consequences. You're almost there, Amelia. Just be careful, okay? Sarah's voice was laced with worry. I nodded, determination stealing my nerves. I will. It's time to finish this. You sure this won't trace back to us? Sarah looked concerned, eyeing the computer screen where I was about to send the final incriminating email about Rick and Jensen and Hart. Triple checked every detail. There's no way. Confidence oozed from my words. I had been meticulous. And you're okay with, you know... The consequences? They brought this on themselves. I'm just balancing the scales. My finger hovered over the send button. And then, with a single click, it was done. The email containing all of Rick's dirty laundry, the stolen projects, the manipulation, was now in the inbox of every major player in our industry, not to mention a few news outlets. Now we wait, I said, leaning back in my chair. The fallout was immediate. Within hours, Social media was buzzing with the news. Rick was fired publicly, his reputation in tatters. Jensen and Hart were under scrutiny for their practices. Look at this, Sarah exclaimed, holding up her phone to show a trending hashtag. Hash Rick the ripoff. I can't believe you actually did it, Max said, shaking his head in disbelief. Believe it. And that's just the start. I couldn't help but feel a surge of adrenaline. It was exhilarating, seeing justice served 
But I didn't stop there. I used my newfound skills and connections to subtly disrupt Jensen and Hart's operations. Nothing illegal, but enough to throw them off their game. Missed deadlines, lost clients. I watched as they struggled to keep afloat. Meanwhile, my own business was thriving. Word of mouth spread about my expertise and integrity. Clients I never dreamed of having were now knocking on my door. You're killing it, Amelia, Sarah said one evening as we celebrated with takeout and cheap wine. Yeah, but it's more than that. It's about proving them wrong, showing them I'm not someone they can just step on. You've done more than that. You've shown everyone what happens when you mess with the wrong person. Admiration in his eyes. The weeks that followed were a whirlwind. Rick tried to reach out, his messages oscillating between apologies and threats. I ignored them all. He was a chapter in my life that was firmly closed. Jensen and Hart attempted to salvage their reputation, but the damage was done. They had been exposed for who they truly were, and the industry took notice. You know, you could have taken them down even harder, Max noted one day. Could have, but this isn't about destruction. It's about justice, and I've got that. My reply was calm, measured. I had learned a lot about myself through this, about my strength, my resilience. As I continued to build my business, I felt a newfound sense of confidence and empowerment. I was no longer the woman who was easily stepped on, easily dismissed. I was a force to be reckoned with, a survivor who turned her darkest hour into her greatest triumph. So, what's next for you, Amelia? Sarah asked, looking at me with a mix of curiosity and pride. The sky's the limit, I said, a smile playing on my lips. But one thing's for sure. I'm never looking back. Did you see the news this morning? Jensen and Hart? Yeah, they're in deep water now. I replied, not looking up from my computer. More like sinking ship. Between the lawsuits and the scandals, they don't stand a chance. Sarah was practically buzzing with energy. The news was all over every channel. Jensen and Hart, once a titan in the industry, now faced legal battles and public humiliation. Their unethical practices, once hidden in the shadows, were now under the glaring light of public scrutiny. You think Mr. Thompson saw this coming? Max asked leaning against the doorway with his usual smirk. Doubt it. He always thought he was untouchable. I leaned back in my chair, a sense of satisfaction washing over me. The downfall of Jensen and Hart was not my doing alone, but I'd played my part. They'd underestimated me, and now they were paying the price. But the real twist came a few days later. Mr. Thompson himself showed up at my office. He looked defeated, a shadow of the confident CEO he once was. Amelia, I... I didn't know about Rick. If I had, his voice trailed off. Save it, Mr. Thompson. You made your choices. I wasn't interested in his excuses. He sighed, a look of regret in his eyes. I just wanted to say I'm sorry. For everything. Apology not accepted. My words were cold, final. As Mr. Thompson left my office, I felt a chapter of my life closing. There was no room for reconciliation. Not after everything they'd done. My business continued to grow, becoming more successful than I ever imagined. I hired a team, moved into a bigger office, and even started mentoring young women who were starting in the industry. It was my way of giving back, of making sure no one else would have to go through what I did. You're a role model now, Amelia, Sarah said one evening as we celebrated the company's first anniversary. Just trying to be the person I needed when I was starting out. To new beginnings. As I looked around at the faces of my friends and colleagues, I realized how far I'd come. From the ashes of my downfall, I'd risen, stronger and more determined than ever. What's next for you, Amelia? Max asked, curiosity in his voice. Whatever it is, I'm ready for it. I smiled, feeling a sense of peace and confidence I hadn't known before. As we close the chapter on Amelia's intense journey of revenge and redemption, it sparks a thought-provoking debate. In situations like Amelia's, is seeking revenge the best course of action, or is there a greater strength in forgiveness? Throughout her journey, Amelia chose retribution over reconciliation. Do you think this was the only way for her to regain her power and self-respect, or could there have been another path? These questions often have no straightforward answers, but your insights could shed new light on how we view justice and personal healing. So, Dive into the comments and share your views. Did Amelia inspire you? Or do you feel she lost part of herself in her quest for vengeance? 
And while you're pondering that, don't forget to hit the like button if you enjoyed following Amelia's story. Subscribe to stay updated with more tales that challenge our thinking and provoke meaningful discussions. Your engagement is what fuels this channel, so keep the comments coming. Hit like if you enjoyed this journey, and subscribe for more thought-provoking stories. Looking forward to your thoughts and discussions in the comments below.